Good evening and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining again and we'll continue with our conversation with Dr. Prakash Rao on Face to Face. We talked about in our previous episode about the importance of temple and also the mantras and a lot more about Hinduism. So it is time for us to introduce one of the very unique temple that is there in Dallas Fort Worth area. A lot of you may know about it and uh, Prakash Rao, uh, Dr. Prakash Rao is a very big part of it and his involvement in the temple. So it's time for us to find out more. Welcome back. And, uh, Thank you. This is a great opportunity for us and also our uh, audience viewers to know about this great temple. Yes. So you are a very prominent part of Karya Siddhi Hanuman Temple here in Dallas Fort Worth. So we would like to know more about it. Uh, as I mentioned, I think in the last episode, so um, in 2007, Sri Ganapath Swami Swamiji expressed his interest based on the desires of the people, devotees that uh, he is interested in having Hanuman temple in Dallas. Mm -hmm. By that time, there are already some devotees here. Okay. So that way, it becomes easy for them to organize it and um, assemble the whole thing. So as soon as he expressed his desire, uh, by 2008, January, so we were able to find the land, mm -hmm. 10 acres of land. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we went to Frisco City Council to get the approval in January 2008. Mm -hmm. So with the blessings of Sri Swamiji, so we bought the 10 acre land. After we bought that one, within um, three, four months, so our Swamiji came actually. By that time, we already started operating as a temple in a small <laughs> trailer. I think some of you probably, you know, yes. and we didn't even have the road, nothing actually. The whole Independence Boulevard now, what we have, there was no uh, proper facilities, there was no construction, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. So then we started actually in that one. Mm -hmm. uh, by that time, we already had uh, mm -hmm. uh, what we call the Sunday school. Sure. We call it Baladatta. Mm -hmm. Even before we have the temple, so it was started actually in, uh, in Dallas. So then we started continuing that um, uh, Baladatta mm -hmm. Sunday school in that, in that um, uh, trailer home. Mm -hmm. The same year, in some time in June, July, so there was a groundbreaking ceremony for a 10,000 square feet building, which now is an old building kind of thing. And uh, so then, you know, the installation was done in 2009, and um, Swamiji came and did the Prana Pratishtha and all that. And so um, the Hanuman is the main murti in mm -hmm. that place. Mm -hmm. So then the, all the activities were going on with the Sunday school. You see that building has about seven, eight classrooms just solely for um, conducting the Sunday school. So and what exactly do we offer in the Sunday schools for students that yeah. is, is the... Yes. So you see, um, basically the different groups mm -hmm. because you cannot teach the same thing for all the age, age groups. Sure. So five, uh, six to seven, eight to nine, 9 to 11, mm -hmm. um, 11 to 13. So those are the things. Mm -hmm. So we have now 540 students enrolled in it. Okay. So depending on the age, so we, our, our people have we actually came up with a mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, curriculum sure. as to what to teach age. at what age. It could be preliminary, mm -hmm. even though Bhagavatam you may not, uh, you may teach some things mm -hmm. at the age of five, six and seven, but you can also teach at a different level and so on. So that is how the, there are language classes, there are music classes, there is bhajan classes, mm -hmm. art classes, drawing classes, you name it, almost <laughs> so many um, opportunities are given for the uh, for our children actually in Hanuman temple. Okay. Anybody has any interest or which is related to our Hinduism, our art and what not, if, if we have enough students, mm -hmm. we are willing to do it. do it. That is how we expanded it is to have 540 students actually in, uh, in, uh, in our uh, Sunday school. Okay. 
without any restrictions or anything that anyone can come and learn and it's uh, a, exactly uh, so yeah. they, they they have to enroll because now you mm -hmm. cannot actually have even the seats you need mm -hmm. to uh, pre-register <laughs> only then wow. you will be able to open mm -hmm. if somebody comes if they want to enroll they can because we don't want to have more than 22 20, 22 23 students in each Absolutely. each even though we may have six seven sections of the same mm -hmm. but still you don't want to exceed certain number mm -hmm. because you won't have that direct interaction with the kids mm -hmm. so that's the reason so we have that many recently and also you taught several students a different way of learning hinduism yeah. you see then uh, let me go back so that way i will come to this one mm -hmm. and uh, then 2000 uh, Mm -hmm. uh, four, mm -hmm. actually, our Swamiji did the groundbreaking ceremony for a big temple which you Beautiful. all see now. Absolutely. That is the Kari Siddhi Hanuman temple yes. with Beautiful. Markata, yeah. with the Markata Hanuman as the mm -hmm. main mm -hmm. idol. Okay. And 2015, mm -hmm. so Swamiji actually did the uh, Kumbhavishekam. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then this is the unique temple. It is probably one of the um, the largest temple, if not the largest temple in the United States. As I said, I have been here for almost 51 years. I have visited so many temples. Mm -hmm. This size of the temple is not there anywhere. Mm -hmm. There may have, there may be, there may be so many temples with so many buildings, mm -hmm. one for this one, one for that one. But where you can have close to 4,000 people sitting in one place right. and doing puja or watching puja either kalyanam or whatever we are doing it mm -hmm. so this is unique in that respect 4000 people can be Actually, i was going to ask you what is the uniqueness of this because i've heard a lot about it and okay so uniqueness so let me tell you a few <laughs> unique things about this temple you see we all ever since new temple has come even before, just one, I'll go one step. Swamiji came in 2009, uh, 2008, mm -hmm. April. Mm -hmm. That was the time the neighborhoods were just opened up at that time. Okay. Okay. That is on the south side. Mm -hmm. Swamiji immediately said all the devotees should go ahead and buy all these lots and then build houses. Because so that way there will be less confusion among people also, mm -hmm. other religious people they may have. So as a result, all the houses touching our property on the south, they are all devotees. Okay. So in the same way, on the okay. east side also. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is one. Now, of course, now mm -hmm. the uh, north side also, mm -hmm. all the houses came. Mm -hmm. And then as a result, mm -hmm. they are also devotees. Now, we call this one as an agraharam. <laughs> okay, in olden days, and some people may have seen Agraharam. I don't think many people have seen Agraharam. <laughs> Agraharam means generally you will see a lake, mm -hmm. and then with met, um, with uh, steps and all that, and then there will be a temple, mm -hmm. and most of the people used to stay around it. Okay, and at the same time, when you have a temple, you will see a row of houses on one side and the row of houses on the other side, and then on the back also. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now exactly the same situation you will see. We have houses on the south okay. side of the temple, east west, um, uh, north side, mm -hmm. and then on the east side also. Okay. So agra harm harm means garland, as if you okay. have, as if you have put a put garland it. to the temple, the temple with the devotees, yes. devotees as petals. Oh, wow. Or the flowers. That's awesome. So I don't think there is any place like this one over the last 200 years. Even in India now they cannot do something like this one. Right. This is the blessing. This is the vision of Ganpati Sachidanand Swamiji. Wow. That is one uniqueness. Agraharam is mm -hmm. the concept. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at these three temples, mm -hmm. the two, uh, and uh, you will see those uh, three mm -hmm. gopurams. Gopuram. And yeah. these are actually we brought 30 shilpis from India, and then we. Um, built this one and then we bought a special painter mm -hmm. actually who did a lot of research on India who has done some some painting in other states we brought that gentleman to make sure this particular temple okay. will reflect and then make okay. sure it will show up Got it. because each God has their own colors sure. like 
if you look at our um, um, Durga Devi, mm -hmm. it is gold color. Right. Because the ladies, obviously, it is gold <laughs> color. In the same way, Shiva, if you see so many different colors, at least 10 different colors. Mm -hmm. Why 10 different colors? If you remember, there is a mythological story where Shiva was to be woken up by Kam Kamadhenu. And uh, at that time, he created the whole atmosphere to look like a spring right. atmosphere. Sure. Whatever colors we think that are, that are that used at that time, so those are the colors that we put, Wonderful. like that one. So those, and then if you stand in, in front of uh, Hanuman temple, mm -hmm. so you can see all the three gopurams. Okay. Okay, from inside itself, you can see all three gopurams. Mm -hmm. And then you will also see on the back of the temple, that means to the east side, there is a circular window. Mm -hmm. So once we have Rajagopuram, mm -hmm. you can stand right there and, and you can see. also see the Rajagopuram itself. That. Okay, mm -hmm. that is the another uniqueness of the temple. Okay. And then Markata Hanuman itself is unique. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the world you will find a five feet wow. Markata Hanuman temple. Mm -hmm. And there is a big story to this one also. Okay. Swamiji wanted to have a Markata Hanuman mm -hmm. here. So he used to have a Muslim devotee. Mm -hmm. So he used to have a quarry. Mm -hmm. And so he completed all that one. So he thought there was nothing okay. in that one. Mm -hmm. And then he comes to Swamiji and then Swamiji says, I need this one and go and find it. He goes for a year and then he comes back. Swamiji, I can't find anything like this one. Mm -hmm. Then Swamiji says, wherever you stopped your query, mm -hmm. you just, just dig deep <laughs> down, deep down, mm -hmm. you will find it. That is how they found it. Oh, wow. So out of that one, there are about eight, nine different uh, uh, murtis are, are actually chiseled and uh, two of them uh, Hanuman. Mm -hmm. One is in Hyderabad and the second one is right here in, uh, in Dallas, Press five feet. Mm -hmm. Nowhere else you will find anywhere like this one except wow. these two Hanuman, wow. Hanuman um, idols made of, made of this um, uh, Markata, Markata that is uh, Jain. Right. Now, so many other activities, after we build this one, Thousands and thousands of people are coming and then mm -hmm. just uh, experiencing the divine, mm -hmm. uh, divine energy in that one. Sure. Swamiji was here at the time of um, the inauguration, mm -hmm. Kumbhavishekam, for 49 days. Nowhere in his life actually he stayed, stayed that, that long. long. <laughs> in one place, all 49 days he spent nights right here. That's okay. Wonderful. So as a result, there are so many vibrations are created. I mean, I'll tell you a couple of people, just one lady came from Hyderabad. The mm -hmm. minute she entered the building, she started crying. Mm -hmm. I said, there must be some problem. I mean, maybe I can it's help. Gone. And I went and talked to her. She couldn't talk. After a couple of minutes, she comes and says, I never experienced anything like this one. This is the first temple where my goosebumps and everything else, I started crying because there are so much, mm -hmm. there is so much energy. Mm -hmm. In the same way, um, um, the other gentleman, uh, Dr. Subramanian Swami, <laughs> he also came and he said this is going to be the pilgrimage center, center. for the end of Correct. for the entire. In the Thanikala Bharani, mm -hmm. so he was giving a lecture mm -hmm. in, in our temple. Okay. And then he gave for about 45 minutes and then one hour. Mm -hmm. And then he started singing. In the meanwhile, he at least mentioned five, six times. Okay. The vibrations are so strong. Sure. Sure. Whatever I am doing, whatever I am saying, whatever I am singing, mm -hmm. it is not me. It, it is, is the vibrations that are making me, come you know, out come me. out of it. Okay. And then after he s sang one song, he just choked, he cried, he stopped. I said, I can't take this energy, these vibrations. So he stopped it because he could not talk. Mm -hmm. The vibrations were so strong. That is the importance and significance of our Guruji who spent 49 days, left all the vibrations, and every year he is coming in order to make sure those vibrations are recreated so that people, when they come, mm -hmm. they will experience, wow. experience that one. That's amazing. And uh, so, as I said, actually in December, mm -hmm. we had 400 students, mm -hmm. 400 students, Centennial School, ninth grade students came for two days each class. Mm -hmm. So there was a class at 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 3 o'clock and so, so we had that. 
So that is two days see they came 400 students. Wow. We talked, we showed the temple. We talked about the significance of mm -hmm. all the Gopurams and everything else. Mm -hmm. And then we spent about 40, 40 minutes with each group talking about the importance and the significance and the uniqueness of our salient features of Hinduism. Right. Everybody real liked it, everybody appreciated because we, are, we don't force anybody to follow us. Yes. We don't force anybody Absolutely. to believe in anything. True. We say it is the freedom is the only one that matters mm -hmm. and the then tol tolerance, ahimsa mm -hmm. and then the, how scientific our religion is all about. Absolutely. So as a result, so you know people who come with some phobia or some kind of reservations Oh, they don't convert people. They don't talk about their God. They don't talk about this many things. <laughs> so I'm I'm free actually. It's that come is and experience exp energy. Exactly. Right. So as a result, actually last with only this month, mm. uh, there is I think all of us know there is Austin College in Sherman. Sure. And um, there is a lady by the name um, Yvette mm -hmm. Vargas O'Brien. Mm -hmm. She is an associate professor of religious studies. She brought so many students before. And those students not only just learn little thing about our religion, they also participate in Bhatkama festival and Diwali <laughs> function, Nava, Navaratri festival. They they experience. They didn't have to come. Correct. They they just they saw the presentation. They could go, but they said no. They want to stay and see. They they even danced actually. Participated in exactly. that event. So after that experience, so we actually she approached and said, you see, I want my our students to know the diversity of mm -hmm. our Hindu religion. Correct. Then we, I sat with her and then developed the curriculum. Mm -hmm. So I thought we will just talk about first what is Hinduism, what is the uniqueness, what are the salient factors, that is one lecture. Mm -hmm. The second lecture would be mythology and symbolism Symbology. of different gods and goddesses. Sure. We had to restrict only to the gods and goddesses in our <laughs> temple because we have 330 million gods. We can't talk about all those gods. We selected those ones. So that is another session. Mm -hmm. And then, so I also mentioned, you need to know a little bit about how we really conduct our worship services, mm -hmm. which we call puja. Okay. She said, fine, you garden. So we actually asked our priest mm -hmm. do to do Sora Shopichara Puja to Lord Hanuman. Okay. That means the 16 steps. Sure. And we need how to do the Sankalpa offer. and then what are the steps, how do we do, what, what, are, what is the meaning of all these okay. 16 steps. Okay. So we explained in English all these things mm -hmm. and so they were very appreciated. They even asked why you offer flowers, why you do these things. Uh, you see, for, for all the things that we offer to God, flower is the only one that, we, that it would not hurt him. It is so soft. If you even if you put um, a leaf, you know there is a chance it might hurt. Right. The, uh, whereas a flower, it is so delicate it won't. In the same way, when we ring the bell, we mentioned about it. Why do we ring the bell? Why do we do arati? Yeah. These are some of the things they wanted to know. They are curious about it, and uh, so all these things. Basically, there is a karma theory involved in it, and then why we ring the bell in order to dispel whatever. The, um, the uh, negative elements in that one, because in the in the whole atmosphere, you have positive as well as negative, negative things one. all the time. Sure. If you look at our scriptures, not only gods, we have equal number of demons also. Sure. So that means there is always the, the competition, the, uh, competition or <laughs> contrast between good and contrast, evil. Yes, that's right. So then the other course is about um, the dance programs. Okay. So we requested actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Sri Lajita mm -hmm. uh, Suri to come and demonstrate different poses mm -hmm. and what what uh, dance is all about mm -hmm. and uh, then what about the different Navarasas and uh, she gave a, gave a presentation about the dances and then we also talked about Guru Tattva why do we need a Guru what are the features of the Guru how do we recognize a Guru who is Lord Dattatreya mm -hmm. and what are the characteristics do we need really Guru you know, if you look at all the gods, gods have gurus. Mm -hmm. It's not just only human beings. Yeah, all the saints have gurus. Right. All the gurus have gurus. So as ordinary human beings, we so don't. we don't. Because you see, nobody taught us about anything. 
we only developed some negative attitude the way I developed most of us <laughs> have those kinds of I things. think you're a good example yeah. uh, that you know one should know how we should get into that and then what led you to this spiritual yeah. life and exactly. so exactly. Um, let's uh, let's learn more about in our next episode and it, this was a wonderful information yeah. and uh, you must visit Karasiddhi Hanuman temple to just witness yourself what Dr. Prakasha is talking about because this is one of the uh, the most beautiful temple in Frisco that's located in Dallas Fort Worth area. So thank you so much for watching and uh, we will talk more about other information about Hinduism in our next episode. Stay tuned.